mRNA vaccine. The mRNA vaccines. The mRNA vaccines. It's the vaccine technology that revolutionized our response to the coronavirus pandemic, mRNA. We imagined uh, uh, many, many years ago that this molecule could be used to instruct our immune system uh, and prepare our uh, immune system to fight pathogens. Dr. Ugar Shaheen is the CEO of BioNTech, the company that's teamed up with Pfizer to make a COVID mRNA vaccine. We're all done. Given to over 112 million Americans to date. It's not exactly how Shaheen thought his innovative platform would be used. And we founded our company 13 years ago, and our vision was to develop cancer immunotherapies. Today, Dr. Shaheen is more focused on that goal than ever, developing an mRNA vaccine for colorectal cancer. Why colon cancer? A standard treatment uh, resides, uh, resides um, in a situation where about 30% of patients have a relapse uh, after two years. An even bigger problem today, as the U.S. incidence of colorectal cancer has risen in younger adults since the mid-1990s. And now the question is, if we add a vaccine, can we prevent these relapses? And we believe the vaccine could be, could be in a position uh, to do that. The vaccine, not only made from mRNA, but also individualized for each patient's cancer. And this type of treatment really considers that every tumor is different. The company gave NBC News an exclusive look at their mRNA cancer vaccine process. It starts out with sending a patient's tumor to BioNTech's lab in Germany. There, cancer cells are analyzed for mutations specific to that individual, then encoded in mRNA strands that go into the vaccine. When we administer the, the vaccine to the patients, the patient's body is able to mount immune responses which are directed specifically against uh, the patient's tumor. Dr. Leanne Prusner oversees the manufacturing of BioNTech's colorectal cancer vaccine, a process the company boasts can be done in record time. And now how long does it take to go from a tumor to a shot in the arm? Around six weeks. Their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Mainz is being used to scale this therapy from one patient to thousands. We are now in a scale with enabling us about 500 to 600 vaccines a year. And in two years from now, we will be able to scale up to 10,000 patients a year. In October, BioNTech began enrolling patients in their phase two clinical trial. One step closer to making a 30-year dream a reality. We believe scientifically this could be a game changer. Of course, we have to prove that. And in about three years from now, we will get the clinical data from this trial and then we will see whether it's a game changer. So when we think of mRNA, we just think of COVID right now. Do you think that'll change the next 10 years? Yes, it will change, definitely change. We are developing mRNA therapies against cancer and we will see also mRNA therapies against autoimmune diseases, allergies, inflammatory diseases, or even in the space of regenerative medicine. A revolutionary advance poised to change the medical space for decades to come. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.